Running through that green grass and wearing daddy's John Deere green. Had no, we never had much green cash. Mama's love was even green. Yeah. Hey, it's Josh Logan. Welcome to my creator sessions. Today, we are going to dig into the non sexy hustle of the music industry. We're going to talk about my journey from the business side to being the artist. And we're going to talk about me finding my voice as an artist as opposed to writing songs only for other artists. I'm excited to hang with you today. Let's go. To be green. Hi, I'm Josh Logan, and I have been a music manager, a booking agent, a songwriter, producer. I've worked for record labels, music licensing companies, and I may not have given all that up at this point, but now is my time to focus more as an artist. Uh, I guess it all started in upstate New York. My parents were big music people, always had music playing. It was everything from the classics, the Beatles, um, but a lot of country, a lot of Alabama, Brooks and Dunn, Travis Tritt, Garth Brooks. Those are times where the music is starting to seep in and I, and I think that's when it started influencing me. I remember playing um, a Garth Brooks song over and over and over in my room and just like, I think those were the moments where, where the seeds were starting to be planted. And uh, I grew up with the pop artist Andy Grammer and we grew up playing basketball and writing music. I think Andy, it seeped in a lot more for him. He was able to kind of go off and be like, I'm gonna be an artist. For me, uh, I had no idea what any of that meant. And I'm like, I'm gonna go to business school and um, you know figure it out from there. I got a call from my uncle and he's like, hey, my buddy has a music company and uh, they, they, they're they basically booking agents. He's like, do you want a job? He needs a guy. I was like, yes. So I literally, the day after I graduated, I moved into the booking world. My job was uh, what they call a talent buyer. I was helping primarily colleges and universities book talent for their concerts on campus. So naturally, my good friend Andy Grammer was trying to be an artist. So whether it was Ludacris or Lone Star or Augustana, whether it was 50 bucks or 100 bucks, Andy Grammer was the opening act. So we signed Andy to our management company, went off and had a record deal, a bunch of big hits with Andy. And those were some of the best years of my life. I was able to learn so much about the business and travel the world with one of my best friends. But when a song hit that we were working on or an artist came in, in the back of my mind, I'm like, ah, I would, I would like, my heart wants to write music with that artist. Not, not that I didn't want to help them on the business side, but I always had interest. How do I get back to being an artist? There was a moment where I realized that a lot of songs coming out of Nashville were not written by the artists. That was like a huge moment for me. I'm like, well then who wrote the songs? You know, and then I realized there's a whole community of people in Nashville that write a lot of the songs for, for the artists. And I'm like, wow, that's that's incredible. How do I how do I get involved? They call Nashville a 10-year town because it takes people 10 years at least to, to succeed there. So I started running off there for years and just you know slowly building my way up. Started getting in better and better rooms in Nashville, writing more in LA. And I think all, all the things started to align. It was like, this is gonna be my moment to kind of turn the page and finally take that leap into being an artist myself, at least mostly. I'm, I don't know that I'm ever gonna be just doing one thing. It's just kind of who I am. And I have a lot of experience that I really love to share with others and, and help people out. Um, but I said, you know what, I really need to move my artist career off the back burner, up into the, the foreground, up into the focus. So I made that leap. I left the management company and Two Feet jumped in. One of the first things that happened was I got a call to be on the NBC Songland TV show, which was incredible. Just had an incredible experience, met so many great songwriters, as well as Ryan Tedder and Esther Dean and Shane McNally and Will I Am, and just really great validation for me that the path, that jump that I just took, that leap that I just took was, was the right move. So since then I've been really focused on songwriting for pop artists, for country artists, for TV and film, and of course for my artist career. 
I've spent so much time either on the business side, helping to grow someone else's brand or, and someone, you know, what someone else wants to say, um, or sitting in a songwriting room and writing for another artist, so trying to get in their head. So it's interesting when I'm sitting in, in my studio myself and I'm like, what do, what do I want to say myself? There's no one else here. I don't have someone to ask questions to and say, tell me a little bit more about that breakup or how old were you when you did this? It's all on me. So I've really enjoyed the journey of trying to figure out what I want to say as an artist and I'm excited to play you some songs. Another buck, another day the Stack of bills that need to get paid and I don't know how the hell we all do it We work all week cause nothing's cheap You don't come from easy street Somehow I guess we all get through it some days are rough and some days ain't so bad But if I can go, you know I just go back When a pocket full of quarters made you rich And a hundred dollar bill didn't exist When you stopped for a penny and picked it up Cause it was on heads and nice good luck only cash we knew was on the radio And the nights were quick, days were slow And the world didn't revolve around dollars and cents It made more sense Brand new truck from the bank Cause you care what people think we can't drive that beat up Ford on Main Street Yeah, we're all sinking, but damn, our ships look good You know I'd go back if I could When a pocket full of quarters made you rich And a hundred dollar bill didn't exist When you stopped for a penny and picked it up it was on his and that's good luck Only cash we knew was on the radio And the nights were quick, days were slow And the world didn't revolve around dollars and cents It made more sense When a pocket full of quarters made you rich And a hundred dollar bill didn't exist When you stopped for a penny and picked it up Cause it was on heads and that's good luck Only cash we knew was on the radio And the nights were quick, days were slow And the world didn't revolve around dollars and cents It made more That was made more sense, and uh, I still remember the day I wrote that down in Nashville. Before I go down to Nashville, I always come up with a lot of different titles and concepts. And this, this song actually started with the concept of quarters. I thought that was interesting. I was throwing around this idea of like, you've got actual quarters, you've got quarterbacks, you've got quarters of life, you've got all these different quarter things. And I was like throwing around this idea. I brought it into the room with some great some of my favorite writers down in Nashville, and we landed on this um, kind of the hook of the song. When, when the world didn't revolve around dollars and cents, it made more sense, and we all kind of fell in love with that in the room and uh, chased it down, and it's, uh, it's one of my favorites. I spent a lot of time figuring out with what other people want to say and helping people um, put into words and into song what they're all about. So for me, it's been really fun um, and scary to figure out what I want to say as an artist, what I want to put my name on. And um, this is a song that kind of embodies a lot of what I want to be as an artist. I really love the um, 
for me, the, the craft of songwriting is, is huge for me. I love the clever songwriting and I love the, the, the double use of sense in this song in particular. Um, and i I think I found out as an artist that, um, I love kind of like the nostalgia throwback, make you feel young again, um, kind of stuff. I think that's a, it's a huge part of my brand as I'm figuring it out a lot of the songs I like to write. Um, you know, I had a great childhood and I, and I love that. I love remembering that. And I think what I found, um, in feedback from fans is that people love like remembering the, the, the memories, you know, and this song checks a lot of boxes for me. Um, so I think if you're, you know, if you're an artist out there trying to figure out your sound, I think a lot of people in today's world, um, get caught up in trying to chase a trend, TikTok trend, some sound on the radio. I think you know, um, do your best to block all that out and, and find what you really love. You know, find what, um, what inspires you, find um, parts of songwriting that, um, that you're interested in, that, that you think uh, is unique to you. And um, that's the journey I'm on. Uh, the songs I'm gonna play today are, are all that way. And, um, you know, I would say, um, don't be afraid to lean into to you and um, instead of maybe trying to follow uh, a trend or what someone's telling you, you, you know, you, you should sound like. All right, this next song's called Green. Memory lanes, the old dirt road, I'm driving down, me in this rear view bowl, looking back and that. At a time and a place with a simple way Life was all there was All the hills in the fields take me back Nothing feels quite like where I'm from I grew up running through that green grass And wearing daddy's John Deere green Had no, we never had much green cash Mama's love was ever green, yes And even though I got a good Life. Now and then I like to read wine Cause there's nothing like the first times And remembering what it feels like to be What a gift to be the kid in the yard Without a care in the world Twenty bucks in dad's old car Picking up a girl Friday night at a red light Feeling them butterflies Sneaking a first date kiss Oh, it's crazy to think about all those things I never knew I'd miss Like running through that green Grass and wearing daddy's John Deere green Had no, we never had much green cash Mama's love was ever green, yes And even though I got a good life Now and then I like to read wine Cause there's nothing like the first time And remembering what it feels like Turns out I had it all Running through that green grass And wearing daddy's John Deere green Had no, we never had much green cash Mama's love was ever green, yeah Even though I got a good life Sometimes I like to rewind Cause it's nothing like the first times And remembering what it feels to be green, to be green, to be green. Awesome. That's my song, Green. And um, kind of a funny story with this one. Um, usually the way I write is kind of like a lyric first 
title first kind of guy. Um, and while I did have this title um, for a while, I, I was struggling with how to write it. Um, this melody just like smashed me in the head one day. I was I was literally doing the dishes and got hit with ba da 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 da. Uh, and I was just like, whoa, where'd you come from? Thank you for being here. And uh, pulled out my iPhone, um, fending off children and dishes and soap. And I was like, I got to capture this. I guess on a, on a tip note, I read this cool book called Big, Big Magic. And it talks about creativity. You know, if you're a creative, if you're a creator, um, creativity is all around us. It's about creating a space to allow it in. So I work on that, trying to be open to uh, giving myself the room and the space for creativity to, to, to come in, um, whether that's doing the dishes or actually in a proper writing session. Um, I think it's really important to, um, create that space to be, to be able to receive that creativity. Um, something cool that I read and something that I've experienced a lot, um, which is super cool, a little bit weird, but yeah, drops in on you sometimes. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a songwriter, something I just really enjoy doing is writing songs with other artists and capturing you know who they are and what they want to say and um it didn't start this way um but now i'm uh blessed enough to write with so many incredible artists brett young black eyed peas um darius rucker lauren elena michael ray uh some of my favorite artists one of my favorites one of my absolute favorites is an artist named willie jones he has a creator sessions episode of himself but he is an incredible artist that i saw kind of on the come up and i think an important piece of advice for anyone trying to um you know explore being a songwriter or chase that dream is um you've got to keep your eyes on these artists that are starting to bubble up because on day one you're not going to jump in the room with ed sheeran um, so, so you have to, you know, put on your business cap for a minute, minute and have a mentality of, you know, I'm going to find my way in the room with some of these young artists that I'm inspired by, that I feel like I can add value to, that I feel like I can write some great songs with. So, uh, Willie Jones is one of those for me. I, I, um, started seeing him pop up on playlists, you know, playlists are a great way to see who's, who's starting to emerge. So keep your eyes on those kind of things. And, um, a, mutually friend, uh, a mutual friend of mine was working with Willie at the time. So, um, you know, I, I approached him and um, got, got a write with him. And, um, you know, fast forward to today, Willie and I have had so many firsts for me together. Um, some of our music have been nominated for a CMT. He performed him on Fallon and Kimmel and even on the Grand Ole Opry stage, which is incredible. Uh, an honor for me as a writer. So um, this one's called Down by the Riverside. Super fun song we wrote together. And uh, this is how it goes. Down by the riverside, hanky panky, where them girls betty, yes, ma'am, please and thank you, where them boys ride slow, goes and roads is dangerous, it's a real thin line between snakes and danger. Sun making me sweat, cognac my breath, crawfish the cornbread, yeah, this is real as it gets. Dick, knack, patty, whack, give a dog a bone, yep, I'm Willie Jones, you already know. Me out with the corn and the cotton bro. Way down south, cracking bones, slamming dominoes. Welcome to the ratchet flags out of gold rodeo. Boss hog, I'm a dog, I'm a billy go down by the riverside, down by the riverside. This is how we throw it down, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. This is how we throw it down, down by the riverside. Gonna get that mud off my tires Dirty south in the house coming fresh out the body Got that catfish frying coming fresh off the bottom Got a bad bee with a buckshot riding shoddy Better down the two lane, though she got good brain That super dome, I'm super gone, Lord knows I ain't no saint You can find me out with the corn and the cotton roll Way down south, cracking bones, slamming dominoes. Welcome to the ratchet flags, out of go rodeo. Boss hog, I'm a dog, I'm a baby. Go down by the riverside, 
Down by the riverside, this is how we throw it down, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, this is how we throw it down, down by the riverside. So this is making me think of a funny moment when we were writing the song. We finished the verses in the chorus, and Willie's like, we gotta have a dance for the bridge. It's gotta be like a TikTok dance. So he was like, do si do to the left, do you want to step? Spin around and touch the ground, yeah, slide and catch your breath. Now boots scoot to the right, lift your drink to the sky. Now act a fool, gon' ride the bull, yeah, that's the way we ride. And I have the video on my phone, the first time, Willie doing the whole boot scoot to burn, burn. <laughs> Find me out with the corn and the cotton bowl Way down south, cracking bones, slamming dominoes Welcome to the ratchet your flags out of go rodeo Boss hog, I'm a dog, I'm a billy ho Down by the riverside, down by the riverside This is how we throw it down, down by the riverside Down by the riverside, down by the riverside This is how we throw it down, down by the riverside Creator Sessions is brought to you by ConvertKit, the creator marketing platform. And at ConvertKit, we believe that the future belongs to creators like you. That's why we invest in this series. By sharing the more intimate details of the creator journey, we inspire and encourage more creators to follow their passion because creator shape culture and culture shapes the world. So whatever your craft, our creator marketing platform can help you share it with the world. Click the link to learn more about how ConvertKit can help you earn a living online. The music industry is hard. I think there's a million ways to try to chase the dream, so to speak. Two that stand out is the starving artist approach that I think you hear you know, a lot where people just go, you know, go all in and they're like, no backup plan and no side hustle. And I respect that. I think there are ways that that can work. Um, what I would say to that it, through my experience is try to understand the business a little bit before you jump off that cliff. A lot of people don't and they just, just like, you know, I'm gonna go play Madison Square Garden and that's like the goal from day one. And some people do uh, a small percentage, but understanding the business will allow you to make a better decision. Um, my journey was a little bit different. My, my, my side hustle was full-time job, which grateful enough was in music. So I was able to not have to eat the ramen noodles and live out of a van, but still pay the bills to allow me to continue to grow as a writer and an artist. I was learning the music business. If your side hustle can be in the industry that you love, then I mean, that was perfect for me. I'm so grateful for that. I was actually in music, you know, at a very high level, working with record labels and really seeing how it, how it works on a big level. And here I am with a passion of wanting to get there myself. But either way is hard. For me, I remember just like the, 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 the little sleep and it's trying to do the full-time job, traveling around the country, and then in the back of your mind, you have this thing poking at you like, I wanna go write songs. I wanna go collaborate with people. I wanna be creative. Um, and there's only so many hours in the day. So for me, um, I didn't take the, the jump off the cliff approach um, all in, but I, you know, the approach I took, I looking back is one that, um, I'm just grateful for it. And even if your side hustle is not, even if you're waiting tables, or whatever it is, you very rarely can jump into trying to be an artist on day one and just feel like this is gonna be me full time because you have to pay bills, everyone has to live. So, so having a side hustle I think is incredible and if you can have something in, in the industry that you're working in, even better. This next song is called Don't Make Them Like Me and it's, um, I've realized also part of my brand, I love sad country songs, just something, something about them, pull at the, pull at the heartstrings. And uh, this one's important to me. I wrote this about um, someone really close to me in my life. My family and a couple people close to me uh, have dealt with addiction and alcoholism. And um, I wrote this from the perspective of a good friend of mine who was uh, going through a tough time. This one's called Don't Make Them Like Me. I 
got one in the crib One on the way A cold one in the fridge A strong one I just drank Lost control of everything The devil knows my name But this baby boy is still on the way So all I can do is pray Lord, make him an astronaut, make him an architect. Hell, give him a restaurant. I got a laundry list of all the possibilities of things that he could be. Lord, please don't make him. Like me and I was born in 83 On April 22 and Dad's the same as me Battling the boots and I can picture him so helpless In the days before my birth on his knees next to his bed, I bet he was whispering these words. Lord, make him an astronaut, make him an architect. Hell, give him a restaurant. I got a laundry list of all the possibilities. Lord, please don't make them like me. And for dad, it didn't work. Look how I turned out. But this baby boy is still on the way, so I'm gonna pray right now. Lord, make him an astronaut. How about an architect? Hell, give him a tackle shot. I don't care what it is. Make him an astronaut. Make him an architect. Hell, give him a restaurant. I got a laundry list. All the possibilities of things that he could be. Lord, please don't make him like me. Thanks for hanging out today. I had a blast. Let's connect on all the socials, Josh Logan Music. I'm also on Patreon, Josh Logan Music. I got new music coming all the time on Spotify and all the DSPs. I love you. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in.